Carolina. I'm Sue. I don't know if you remember me or not, um, but I took care of you when you were on Perseus, and I knew your daddy. And there's a big plane going overhead, so I'll have to speak up. But I wanted to say hi, and I can't believe you're already 11. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about your dad and um, how really super special he was and is to me. And I didn't really know him that long. Uh, I was one of his new crew members. And, um, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't take long when you're with somebody to get to know him. And I immediately liked his style because he's like me. He's a little bit of a rule breaker and a rebel. And he likes crazy t-shirts and he likes to do crazy things that people might call him crazy for. Uh, I will never forget when he got in the tractor and moved a bunch of logs so we could have a bigger bonfire. I kind of thought that was cool and sort of wanted to do that being the farm girl that I was, but he did it instead. So anyways, um, one of the funniest things he ever did, and this is what I loved about your dad, is he was really a true captain teaching us about family and about what it means to truly have somebody's back and how we take care of our own. And he was one of three captains I worked with on Perseus. And on that boat, we were super lucky. We had a really beautiful reputation for being a super um, tight family. And that's because we loved each other no matter what. Um, we might not get along with each other during the day, but when it came down to it and we went out at night, everybody took care of everybody and we really loved each other and had a lot of fun. And that was how we felt about your dad. He was the captain, but I will never forget. He made me and one of the girls I was working with so mad one time when we were working. He, we were um, having a tapas night with our biggest client, Miss Nancy. And um, I went to open the door and right in front of me was poor Tom caught dead in the in the lights with the spray bottle in his hand, spraying the floor as your dad was sitting there going like this and going, a clean vote's a happy vote as he's got rags on his feet. And I tell you, it stopped the whole room. We didn't even know what to do. We were so appalled because you didn't do those kinds of things in front of these kinds of people. But yet, how could you not laugh? Because he was helping us out. And you know, I was super mad and went down and probably chewed him out because that's what I used to do back then. Um, but later on that night, I was so grateful because guess what? I didn't have to clean the floor. He'd already done it right in front of guests, but whatever, it was totally funny. Um, and the last thing I wanna tell you about was I was actually with you the night that your daddy became an angel. And I was actually with you the moment he became an angel. And I know that because he came and he said goodbye to you. We were on the boat, we were reading you stories, and um, you got a little upset and distressed. And I felt something kind of in the room, I guess you'd say. And you looked over to the portal and you said, Daddy, and you reached out your arms. And in that moment, I knew that's when your daddy became an angel because he came to say goodbye to you. <laughs> As another, and lots of people going to visit all their loved ones, safe travels. Um, but yeah, so he, he came to say goodbye to you um, and make sure that you were safe um, before he went to be an angel. And I want to tell you that I understand what it's like to not have um, one of your parents because um, three weeks later I went home and held my mommy's hand when she became an angel and that was a little different experience in that time because it was my mommy I really felt it and I just want to explain to you what I felt was is I felt when I was holding her hand I felt her physical body die and be at peace and at rest and my daddy said she's gone but I felt her spirit, her angel, her light, squeeze my hand and pretty much say, I'll be back. 
and then she went and I could just feel that light go up and that was the same sensation that I felt three weeks earlier to the day that your daddy went after he came and said goodbye to you so I don't know if you feel him around you but he wants you to know he's with you every single night before you go to bed to make sure you're safe okay and if you ever need him or any of the other angels that we have up there you just call on them and ask for them and if you ever want to talk to me about any other stories because he has been my biggest angel in 10 years of protecting me there was a fire on our boat one time and I asked for your daddy to help and he saved the boat and everybody on it and we were all safe so um, I do believe I do believe in angels I do and I want to thank you for sharing your daddy with me and with all um, of the rest of us because he watches out over all of his crew over all of his family near or far he just wants to let you all know that he loves you all right carolina you take care of pumpkin and if you ever want to talk you just give auntie sue a holler okay